For me, it's uh, being able to rest my mind. It's something that it's really hard to learn in the context that we live in. Yeah, my inspiration is, uh, is definitely uh, the travels. We travel probably six months of the year to a, a wide variety of locations. A typical Mumbai street, some of the chaos. I like chaos. I like it when he journals our travels through art. I look through the books often and remember these people we've met and uh, how it influences Carl and I's life. It's more of an adventure travel. We stay in places where we can meet the people of the country and experience their culture. One of the, my favorite trips probably is the one into the Santa Teresa Canyon. It was the inspiration for this book that I just finished. That area is very, very remote. It's interlaced with canyons and high elevation mountains. So you're down there, it's magical. And uh, the people in these remote areas, it feels like they really do not need to go to town. You know, they just have their, their goats and their goat cheese that they make. And most of the day they sit on their patio, it seems, you know, and being with these people, you begin to realize that we get so saturated with information and uh, things that we can purchase, things that we have to maintain and take care of, that they just don't have that. It's just uh, interesting to me how they seem to be so happy and so content and just welcoming. They, they're open to sharing their lives with us. And you begin to appreciate other people's journey. That's kind of a theme that uh, drifts through all of my journals. People and places and their uh, their view on life, their philosophy of life. And uh, I feel so privileged that I can do this.